Hey, what's going on, guys? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yesterday was much better than Monday. I won $64,000. I walked away on the $125,000 question, so that brought my overall total to $42,487,820. So, I could very well hit the $42.5 million mark today, and uh, let's try to make that happen. So here we go. All right, Pablo, let's do this. Okay, here's the first question for $100. What name is given to a dishonest or careless workman? Cow, coward? No, that's coward, cowboy. Okay, 100 bucks. Here we go for 200. <clears throat> Someone who is distract who distractedly alters his opinion of something is said to have a change of heart. A change of underwear, yeah, because I always change my opinion on things when uh, <laughs> when I change my underwear, yeah. All right, $200. Now we're playing for 300. Hit by Gladys Knight and the Pips was titled Midnight Train to Georgia. All right, 300. Now we're going for 500. What is the, what is Cockney rhyming slang with the word wife? I thought it was B, but actually D makes sense too. So I am going to 50-50. Okay, B final answer. That is what I thought. Maybe using the 50-50 first was not a good idea. Anyways, whatever, nothing I can do about it now. Going for $1,000. What is the last name of the American country singer named Reba McIntyre? I was already on McIntyre. Final answer. Okay. $1,000 guaranteed. 10 away from the million. Three lifelines left. Phone a friend. Ask the audience to switch the question. It's not very often that I use the 50-50 first. Here we go for $2,000. Bottlenose is a species of what animal? Bottlenose dolphin. Final answer. Okay. Two thousand bucks. Here we go for four thousand. CNN is the abbreviation for its American com uh, media company. Uh. Cable News Network. I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna say D. Yes! Okay. Very good. Very good indeed. My lifeline situation though kind of terrifies me, I'm not going to lie. Alright, now we're going for $8,000. What type of food product is Monetary Jack? Hard cheese, I'm pretty sure. Uh, sweet biscuits, spiced beef, smoked sausage. I'm going to say A, hard cheese, final answer. Okay. Very good. Very good indeed. 8,000, three lifelines left. Now we're going for $16,000. Here we go. The word hypnogogic refers to the period immediately before doing what? Eating, washing, bathing, sleeping. Uh, this would be sleeping because hypno. So I'm going to make D my final answer. Aside from that, uh, was that was that the $500 question? I've zoomed right along. Like this video, this episode is not even four minutes long and we're already going for $32,000. Three lifelines left. Okay. Let's do this. Here we go. $32,000 question. Double, a double bass typically has how many strings? I don't know. So how I'm going to solve this, this, this issue having these two things left, I'm going to phone a friend first. And just like yesterday, if they say, oh, I know for sure, then I'll go with that. If not, then I'll ask the audience. That's my, that's my strategy. It's good when you can actually understand what the phone friend is saying. Um, I'll call Allison. Yesterday I called Zelda. And I think I I think I said afterwards that I called Allison, but I got I got it mixed up. Anyways, we're calling Allison. It's Pop. I really need your help on a question. I don't know what to choose. I mean, a a would make the most sense, but. 
Okay. So that's what I was thinking. Um, but she is not sure. She's not 100% sure. So I'm going to now ask the audience. If A gets the most percentage, gets the highest percentage, then okay, 70%. That's pretty strong. If it's not A, I'm actually going to be really mad. Good. All right. Thank you, Allison and the audience. $32,000. Five away from the million. Still have the switch. Here we go now for 64000 What would usually be kept in a jardinier? Uh, uh, right off the bat, I'm thinking probably either jewelry or wine. But I don't know. So I'm going to use my last lifeline. And then I'm gonna just take a I'll just take a guess because no point no, no point of not guessing, since I have nothing to lose. Oh my goodness, it's plants. That's the one I was actually... That would have been, that would have been my last guess. I'm not even kidding. All right, here's the new $64,000 question. It better be one that I actually know. I think my $500,000 question last Tuesday was about this actress. Uh, the great aunt of which of these celebrities? I have no idea. I'm going to say Paris Hilton because I died... I would say probably either Paris Hilton or Scarlett Johansson. I have no idea. A final answer. And it's right! That is luck right there. That was a complete flat out guess. Okay, $64,000. I won that yesterday and Friday, which means I'm going to take a shot at this next question, even though I'm risking $32,000. Here we go. For, oh my gosh, another Stranger Things question. For $125,000. In what arcade game does Maxine beat Dustin's head score in the series Stranger Things? Okay, I don't think... I think it's Space Invaders. I, I, I don't think it's Pac-Man. I think I would remember that. Um, I could be wrong, but I feel like it's Space Invaders. Asteroids... Dig Dug. This this has got to be the second season. It might be the third. I, I'm just going to go with it before I change my mind. Space Invaders, final answer. And it's wrong. It is Dig Dug. Okay, well, I... Uh, yeah, that, that's a pretty specific question. I, uh, I honestly didn't remember that. I've seen every episode of Stranger Things so far, but that must be... was That, the, that had to be, be the second season. Maybe the third. I don't know. I saw the second third season around the same time. I know it's not the fourth because the fourth just came out earlier this year. Uh, well, that's too bad that I got that wrong. But you know what? Thirty-two thousand dollars is still uh, that's still pretty good, and I have hit the forty-two and a half million dollar mark. So my overall total is now forty-two million five hundred nineteen thousand eight hundred twenty dollars. So guys, that is it for today. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you back here tomorrow. We'll see what happens then. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.